So I had a new one I was gonna do, but y'all so hot right now that I have to go back and do an old one. So here we go. Oh, <laughs> you lie there on the sofa with that confusing look on your face. The one that says you're tired, bored, happy, and excited all at the same time. Your position indicates a mocking attempt at seduction. Legs spread wide open, shirt tied up in a knot, your thick hair disheveled and tangled, tongue repeatedly caressing your mouth. I call to you, hoping to gain your attention. When you ignore me, I pretend you didn't hear me the first time, and I call your name again. With a shake of your head and an annoyed look, you say, you, uh, your big brown eyes say one thing, serve me. Your mindless servant, I obey you. Your adorable figure is simply too strong to resist. I, wa I walk to the refrigerator to find your favorite five o'clock refreshment, making sure that I prepare it properly, because it'd be simple for me to prepare you something that wasn't both wet and dry at the same time. It isn't until you, you hear your food hitting the plate that you finally recognize anything other than yourself existed. You walk over to the table, more eager to eat than to acknowledge my actions, it, and it isn't until after you finally finish eating, after you're done, you, using your own private facilities, that your eyes grow big, you get down on the floor, and your tail wags, dictating that it's time to play. <laughs> because, you see, despite the graphic ideas that we perverted primates share, it was not a sexy woman lying on my couch eating my food. No, it was my dog, using nothing more than a tilt of his head and a few blinks of his eyes for me to do my bidding, much like every teenage girl that I meet, but that's behind the, besides the fact. But I am not alone in my servitude. Can't you see? It is the canines and the felines that rule the world. We are their pets. We live to serve them. The idea, the idea of domestication is a scheme. The war between cats and dogs is over control of the human race. It was the canines who dubbed themselves man's best friend. They knew that they were in trouble when we started defending ourselves against their ancestors. <clears throat> they, keep it, they created the idea of keeping your friends close and your enemies closer. It was the felines who responded with the creation of the internet. Tumblr, Facebook, and Google are the machines they use to control their children's minds, teaching them to make the false promise of, yes, mommy, I'll clean up after him. And it's the undocumented Chihuahua that is the king of this conspiracy. He who gets those hot, voluptuous, 22-year-old blondes to carry him around in designer handbags that cost more than my car. Please, brothers, sisters, stop kidding yourselves. Please, the next time you are about to scoop up that little gift, your precious little angel left you on the living room floor with your bare hands, ask yourself, why the heck am I doing this? And I guarantee you, your precious <clears throat> little pooch, with a shake of his head, <coughs> sorry, with a shake of his head and a few blinks of his eyes, will say, "Bitch, because I told you so." <laughs>